Good day, my friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to talk about Unreal Engine 5 and its new Nanite technology, which is kind of groundbreaking. I've noticed a lot of channels covering the Nanite technology in the same way as I'm going to do today. But for the most part, they're all running Threadripper CPUs or the top Intels and 3090 GPUs. I'm running my 2070 Super and my Ryzen 9 to get closer to a more average consumer friendly Kind of idea of what nanite is going to do for us with the future of gaming and the detail and fidelity within the worlds in the games we play just to give you a basic idea of what i'm doing here i am grabbing some super high quality high poly models of a barrel from the quixel mega scans bridge plugin with unreal engine 5 really easy to just drag and drop any item from there it gives you a low poly model until it downloads the high poly so you can still kind of mess around and put it where you want it and get an idea of your placement in the world and at this point in time i had nanite disabled to see what kind of performance and how many of these super high poly barrels i could put in my world before it kind of gave up the ghost and the performance was just too low to be playable and it wasn't that many at all to be honest uh so i, I was kind of shocked at how little of these high poly barrels it took for my pc to kind of start to grind to a halt and yeah it's kind of shocked me a little bit considering the worlds that we explore um, specifically on my PC, you know, exploring all these high detailed open worlds in games that we play. And just a handful of these super high poly, high tri count barrels off of the Quixel Megascans library really, really brought my PC to a crawl. So with that, I decided to enable the Nanite technology. And as you can see from the FPS counter, right hand side of the editor window, uh, FPS just shot up. It just shot up. And I was very impressed. So I decided to multiply and multiply and multiply these high poly barrels and to my surprise the performance barely dropped barely nudged i got up to dozens and dozens and dozens of barrels and millions tens of millions of tries i think we got up to like 46 million tries altogether now this is a very basic example i'm not I'm not that great with Unreal Engine uh, full stop. I'm very much learning in progress, as a lot of you know. But there are people out there that have got billions of tries and polygons in their kind of environment. And it, it, it still is just performing as good as it is here, 60 FPS. And this is why the tech demo for Unreal Engine 5 with the desert and the character and the big robot that, that comes out of the dirt and... Uh, it just looks so amazing and, and, and runs so good it that can work on our pcs and look that good it just does because of nanite technology now the reason why that desert is a desert in that tech demo from unreal is because foliage and moving meshes can or animated meshes cannot use nanite or technically cannot use nanite as the big robot kind of ancient um, giant thing is made of a bunch of static meshes which is a mesh that is just static sat there doesn't have anything doesn't have any physics properties doesn't animate in any way doesn't morph its shape in any way it, it is just glued to the skeleton so it's kind of like a, a magic they've kind of worked out to get this big giant creature uh, from the ancient world to to animate in a way that it does use nanite because it's it's all static mesh attached now characters obviously they are physical uh moving animated uh, objects so they cannot have nanite on them a, a like a human character that's got skin and things like that 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 doesn't use nanite technology as well as plants because they animate they flow in the wind trees bend and things like that that cannot use uh the nanite technology but rocks um sand gravel environment buildings um all that kind of stuff can use this nanite technology cars that are just sat there that are like in an apocalyptic setting so i was uh, saying to somebody on discord that imagine uh open world apocalyptic world uh for instance daisy um but with the detail pretty much unlimited um with the foliage overgrowth and then i thought hang on a minute you can't do foliage but the performance you'd save on that nanite technology for the static meshes like buildings cars the roads the everything else the rocks the you know everything that would be a static mesh you could then put into the foliage and the other details and, and anything else objects in the world that would reduce that performance you'd save because of the nanite technology reducing performance 
oh I, I hope i'm kind of making sense with this and it kind of you can grasp what i'm going on about here because I, i'm pretty passionate and excited about this for the future of any game from linear you could have super super detailed linear worlds to explore so like you know there's a lot of corridors and hallways and interior kind of exploration games story driven there's there's a lot of detail could be crammed into those smaller worlds but an open world still again there's there's a lot of potential for the future with unreal engine 5 and i'm not skilled enough to do it just yet but i really am looking forward to the first bunch of games where people really push this to the max and this is without the lumen technology that's in which gives you the like ray traced effects without ray tracing it's just it can run on any hardware it just depends on the hardware you've got to how good it can look with the lumen i think it's just another thing on top of nanite to make environments look what i'm going to call ultra realistic compared to what we're used to at least um i've rambled on quite a lot i'm pretty excited but uh yeah this is this is some really good stuff so obviously i've, I've put in a lot a lot of these super high detailed high poly count barrels here and what i've heard as well is if you can build this and it works as a game that can also improve your performance more so than in editor because it gives uh, optimization passes and things like that for the client so you can even get better performance uh again on top of what you had in editor with nanite technology enabled so with all that in mind um i hope it's all sunk in um that's a that's quite a lot of like amazing information and technology and and the potential for the future um it's just got me super excited i really hope i'm not you know blabbled on too much and it made no sense it's just i was super excited to get this video done and um i've had a few things come up so i didn't get it done as quick as i wanted to but i've got it out now while i was thinking about it and had some time I'm, I'm just the potential here is just through the roof we can also visualize what the nanites are doing with the triangles in the editor panel by selecting nanites and then triangles and you can see kind of everything shifting a little bit and all the triangles that, that, are, that are kind of doing their thing and if you zoom out lod's as well is another big factor with this lod's where the level of detail will change the further away or the closer you get to an object you'll see stuff in games that we know now um they'll they'll kind of change the model the model 3d model will change the detail and it'll flicker and you'll notice it and it can be quite jarring in some games where a bush will change from like a super low poly you'll get closer to a high detail uh foliage in as you get closer and a rock will go from super low poly to super smooth high poly high texture detail this just you don't see that change there's no sudden jarring shift so keep this in mind this is still with static meshes plants will still kind of have that 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 effect but in a, in a desert world like you see in the tech demo this stuff doesn't happen you could literally put a tennis ball on a rock and just zoom out as far as you keep going and as long as you add enough pixel density on your monitor you could see that tennis ball in in detail it just that's how this works there's there's no the object wouldn't disappear it's, it, it could potentially stay there as far as you zoomed out and as long as you could see it through your monitors technology that nanite technology would present it on your screen it's just i don't know i don't know man this is guys it's just too good but i'm gonna leave it there anyway because i'm just gonna keep rambling on and, and talking about it and dreaming about future survival games open world games closed linear story driven games i don't know it's just amazing let me know in the comments below discuss this let me know if you've seen any other videos uh, about this and showing it off because there's a lot more people with a lot more knowledge on Unreal Engine than me. Definitely, I'm very much a rookie, a newbie in the Unreal Engine learning scheme of things. But I really appreciate you coming by and checking out this video. And I hope you kind of get a gist of my excitement here and it excites you as much as it does me because this is super big for games. Super big! Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't enjoy the video and subscribe. If you want to see more content from myself, I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.